Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to a brand new episode of Human Resource Machine. I think this is episode 13. Last time out we was, um, yeah, trying to look at that and I have no idea where to start with that. So we're going to ignore that like the plague right now. And we're going to head back into here. So it's the only one other one down the left hand side we haven't done as yet. And um, yeah. This is one where we've got to see if the signs are the same and then output the answer to the um, outbox. So, we need to, first of all, uh, copy from the inbox twice. Copy to zero, copy to one. So then we're going to subtract one from zero. Okay. So let's say we've got five. Let's think. We've got five minus six. Positive five minus positive six is minus one. Okay, so what about the other way around? Negative six, minus, sorry, negative five minus negative, negative five minus, minus six would give me positive one. See, the problem is, right, I'm just trying to like put this through. Like, we look at the next set of numbers. We have an 8 and 0, negative 1. So negative 1 minus positive 8 would give me... negative 9. But how can I use that then to compare? So I have got a little bit of information which Defwish left on a comment which says two subroot he had two subroutines after the first subtraction. If it was negative, subtract the two numbers the other way around, and if it was still negative, then output a zero. Otherwise, output one. Okay. So let's put that into just let, let's just do what death wish said then he said he had two subroutines right so if it's negative he then copied from here subtract from one and if that was negative he copied from zero zero and he sent it to the outbox so that's effectively what death wish did So, if the answer is positive, now we need to kind of like fill in the blanks. So let's take the first example. Three, four. We have four. Take away three, it gives us one. It gives us positive. But a positive is still, in this case, the positive, see it doesn't really help us because if, in the case of, the first number is greater than the second, you're going to get a negative number anyway. See, using Deathwish's example here, right? So we subtract four, three from four. So we've got four, subtract three, gives us positive one. But let's switch the numbers round as if we're like doing it in Deathwish's way. So we have four on zero, three on one. So three minus four is negative one. 
So then we're going to copy from zero. I get four. Four minus three is not negative. But <sighs> hold on a moment. Alright, so what if we did that? Then we copy it to there. Then we copy from zero. Sub from one. Copy to here. So surely then if we do a subtraction of this. If it's zero, I'm just this is just totally un unthought of, really. So one is different, right? So then, if that's there, we're going to copy from here. Else, we're going to copy from here. I, I had no idea. I just want to try and get something on the board, at least, to like, start us off with. Alright, so I need to do an addition. So, yeah, it's... Alright. Take that. It's positive 12. Alright, so what if we did... Let's go back to the subtraction. What if we swap these round? Okay. If it was negative, subtract the two numbers the other way around. And if it's still negative, output zero. see how that's if it's a negative so one and if that's negative copy from four So it doesn't... I 
So if it's not negative, if it's positive... Subtract the zero. If we get a positive result, though. We then want to copy from... Subtract from 1. So if that's now a negative number, we know the signs are different. All confused on this one. This should be a one. This should be a zero. But it's not. So we have a positive result. Is this what I mean? How can I tell? Because they are both positive. Maybe I need to start off by checking if it's a negative number. I don't know. This one's a little bit above me at the minute. I need to really need to like give some of these a little bit of thought. I don't want to just waste the entire episode on kind of like messing about with these. So I want to start like trying to do some optimization. So we have the zero preservation initiative here. So send only zeros to the outbox. What was my optimization here? It was the speed. Okay. So how can I actually like reduce this? If it's zero, go to the outbox and go to the beginning. All right, let me try something like this first. What if we went to the outbox first? Let's just break it. Yeah, they don't, they don't like it when I do that. All right. What if I did something like this? So we're still six six steps over. What was we originally? 
Uh, so what did I have originally? Get rid of that inbox. Move that one to there. That's what I had originally, right? So how many steps did I do it in originally? Alright, so gotta get rid of three. I mean, the only thing I can think then is to go... Obviously, once we're like here, optimization doesn't really matter, does it? Problem is here, though. We don't know like how many items we've got, so. It works. It works. I'm going to take it. Small victories. All right. The equalization room. What do we have to do here? All right, so first of all, let's copy our solution. Paste onto new tab, just so we don't lose the original. All right, so, uh, get two things from the inbox. If they're equal, put one of them to the outbox and discard. All right, so how many steps do we need to minimize this by? Just by one. So what if I did, instead of this... I'm not sure that will really make much difference. To be fair. Let's just take one out. It's got to be like, it's got to be the jump somewhere, surely. I mean, the only other thing, again, I can think to do... like duplicate the code which is like really inefficient but I mean if it gets rid of that, that last if it gets rid of that last jump then you know that's, that's sort of like the main thing isn't it Get rid of that, and we start putting all this back into here. Just 
jump if zero. I say I'm not happy about doing things this way, to be completely honest. But it does say a lot of them you can't do like a, a speed and a um, efficiency as in the same thing. So how many pairs? I mean, all I'm concerned is when I get to the end of this, it's going to tell me, well, what if there was more pairs, kind of effectively. Uh, so let's write all this out again. If we do get to there, we'll just go all the way back to the beginning. Still one too short, though. <sighs> I'm trying to do this. I think this was what I need to do for one of the achievements. You have three times the amount required like steps in the program. That's three times the amount. Isn't that what it was? Let me check. Uh oh, four times. All right, well, let's just um, because I'm like a, I like to get achievements and stuff. Let's get up to 36 commands here, just because why not? Achievements and stuff, and things and stuff. Let's do lots of jumping at the end, and go. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> I can't even manage that without breaking the program. Jeez, holy smokes. Holy schmucks. There we go. Let's try that. Come on. Size challenge. Four times. Uh, yeah, okay, so we need to reduce this by one still. Both of our solutions here um, seemingly inefficient. And if we take the jump out, that's just going to crash, isn't it? Reduce this by one. I mean, we could do something like this. This is like this does not sit well with me, but
take that jump off though. Take that jump off. And this is what I was worried it would do. <laughs> so, I mean, we could copy it again. <laughs> this is ridiculous, though. This is absolutely ridiculous. This is, this is surely not what I need to do. To reduce the number of steps by a freaking... If you're like an, if if you want to learn to program, please do not. I repeat, do not take any tips from this video at all because um, this is just this is just horrendous programming. Absolutely horrendous programming. If we get this far, I'm just going to loop back around. there if we get that far I'm gonna be 20 28 again I know I am If that's the solution, then I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. Thank you very much for watching. As always, leave your comments down below. I do enjoy reading them and seeing what you guys thought, what your guys' thoughts are on some of these puzzles. I'll be back real soon with episode number 14. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. See ya.